I do have some good news, though. Biopsy confirmed that the cancer was confined to only one portion of your colon, and Dr. Geller was able to remove it all. Thank you. It wasn't me. We had a great surgical team. And a little bit of luck. Yeah, I feel pretty lucky right now. Well, we're not in the clear yet. Next step is rigorous chemotherapy, which obviously has some side effects. And... The treatments will help break down the cancerous cells. Hmm. It's where they pump you full of chemicals that kill all the healthy ones. I know about that. Hey, Dad. We're going to fight this. We're going to beat it. You're going to be fine. That is if you don't pull a Houdini and hightail it out of here, of course. <laughs> He's not going anywhere. I'm going to handcuff him to the bed if I have to. Oh, I can get out of those things. <laughs> to be kidding me i know it's it's totally insane high bid fifty thousand dollars you just listed it three days ago what can i say My kidneys are a hot commodity you guys are gonna get in so much trouble oh, come on kyle you know you want in fifty thousand dollars i mean think of how much good we could do with that yeah like pay for your unemployment claire you are totally violating hospital policy man you're bringing me down it's not like we're keeping the money ryan's donating it to charity yeah you, you want to help the whales don't you kyle <laughs> You are not going to get me with the whales. I am not Claire. Oh, okay, then. Pick your cause. We, we could plant trees in the inner city, fight for marriage equality. I got 50,000 bucks burning a hole in my pocket. Actually, it's in your back. The kidneys. In your back. Well, uh, that's just one of them. I could get another 50 grand for the other one. I'm just saying, just because you have four kidneys doesn't mean you have to auction them off to the highest bidder. I mean, this is incredible. We've had over 100 bids. Isn't that beautiful? I'm out. Better. I'll speak oh my god, Dr. forget Dr. that crap. Let's talk about your patient. Brian? He is totally in view. No, he isn't. And I bet even his kidneys are hot. He's really cute, isn't he? Miss Hansen to reception area. Do you realize that it has been 65 hours? That we've been together? Yes. That's the longest day of my life. I bet. It gets kind of expensive when you're paying by the hour. So you want to meet me in the supply closet later? No. I know. Too predictable. How about the MRI machine? You know, just because I'm your whatever now doesn't mean things are going to change around here. So you're my whatever? Wow. I'm certainly not your girlfriend. When is this shift over? In another 75 hours. Well, but things are suddenly starting to look up. Hello there, Jagger. Hello. Wow, look who's here. You dressed up for me. I'm going to ask you a few questions on behalf of the FBI. Okay. About what? General Hospital's involvement in human organ trafficking. trafficking is a major international criminal operation. I swear to you, that is not what we were doing. Dr. I... Simpson, you already jeopardized this hospital enough. I suggest you sit tight and listen. Now, we were able to shut down the, the auction. But the standards on organ trafficking are very severe. Look, I don't know anything about this. So if there's anything specific you need from me, I'm kind of late. Julian, sit down. The fact that you didn't know anything about this makes me question your leadership. What kind of residency program are you running when you got your intern selling organs on the internet? And Epiphany, your head nurse, you're supposed to be my eyes and ears in this place. How did you not see this? I'm sorry. Jagger, what, what does this mean for the hospital? General Hospital might lose its privilege to perform organ transplants. So the drugs go through your veins intravenously. You mean the poison? Oh, come on, old man. Give the kid a break. I'll be right back to check on you. Shouldn't feel a thing. Liar. 
gas. Doctors, they lie. Hold on now. You're talking about my new field. You should have stayed a rock star. <laughs> How are you doing? I mean, you teaching them a thing or two around here? No, I guess I'm doing all right. I've got a lot on my plate. Too much, maybe. How you doing? I've been better. Well, chemo's rough. Anything you want to know, just ask. Can you cure old? Because I don't like it. <laughs> well, yeah, we're old school, but we're still singing. A man should have to go through this. <laughs> you know, I crap in a bag. They, they push and prod me 24 hours a day. I was cut up and gutted, just like a fish. Yeah, well, life deals with changes. You just, you just gotta find a way to roll with it. It's just so humiliating. You have to believe me. Never, ever did I mean for General Hospital to get in any trouble. I really thought this was a good idea. And I would never, ever sell organs to anyone I thought would try to make a profit off. Excuse me. Hold on. Go ahead. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, my name is Ryan McCormick. I'm the one you should be talking to, not her. Uh, Mr. McCormick. Claire tried to stop me. She really did. And uh, yeah, I knew the risks involved, and I, I, I did it anyway. So if there are any repercussions, I should be the one to blame, and Ryan, not her. Go back to your room. This is official hospital business. Jack, is there any way that you would consider dropping this? I give you my word, Dr. Simpson will be appropriately reprimanded. The entire staff will be made aware of this situation. I'll put myself and my reputation on the line. Just please don't let this affect you, H. Look, I will try to bury this, but Oregon's watch is not going to let it fly, okay? They're going to want to know that the FBI did their job, and you here at General Hospital did yours. That's fine. Whatever you need from me. Well, I'm going to have to monitor you for a couple days. What? I'm going to need to follow you around, make sure you're doing your job. That's great. That's... That's wonderful. Hey, it won't be so bad. I might enjoy the company. Mm. 